There are a few keys to victory against the Lord and Dark Beast fight. Distance between you and the Dark Beast puts him at an advantage and opens up his moveset. You should roll into him, stand underneath him, and he becomes much more manageable. And you should learn to roll through his Lightning Noga attack. He's wide open after it if you can roll through. If you are having trouble rolling through, you should run behind him or to the sides of him, as it is easier to escape that way. Pungent blood cocktails are not utilized in this video, but throwing one on the ground will distract the Dark Beast and allow it for time to heal and attack accordingly. It is also advisable to fight unlocked, as the camera goes haywire when you roll underneath him if you are locked on. It is possible to stun lock him by attacking his legs repeatedly. However, you can only stun the same leg once during a fight. Thus, the best thing to do at the beginning of the fight is to spread your damage out to all four of his legs. Once all four legs have taken damage, you can focus on one leg to knock him down. Once he is down, move to the next leg and attack it instead. With decent damage output, you should stun the second leg before he gets up to reset the stun animation. Now move on to the third leg. In the video, this allows me to keep him stunlocked for thousands of damage. After he gets up, he will try to recharge. However, you can stop that animation. Finally, remember that he is weak to fire and serration, and he is utilizing bolt damage, so use Henrik's set to offset it.